we have finally sold these bad boys in the Japanese bag. When I say Japanese bag, there's just two sets of Japanese irons. But now it's sold them. I can finally make a video on it. Guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to a brand new video. Simon, down at my storage container. We're gonna go to the range. We're gonna go and hit these Homma irons. Off a map because I've actually sold them. Finally. It's been quite difficult. Didn't obviously want to make a video on them until I've sold them because I don't want to hype them up. But they've sold. I'm gonna let you know what I bought them for. I'm gonna let you know what I sold them for. And then my just general thoughts. These Homma clubs in the UK especially, I don't know about other countries, but in the UK, a very highly prized and not many people buy them. Therefore, you can get an extremely exceptional, beautiful, pristine set of these Japanese irons for a really good price. When I say really good price, they're still expensive. I do love coming down to Lower Hennick driving range before it opens so I can talk a load of rubbish into the camera and no one is here to listen. So Ian, thank you ever so much for letting me do that. Teach here. Guys, just come and buy loads of balls. Homma. TR20P iron. I think we can all agree this is a good looking iron. I mean, it's simple. It kind of speaks for itself. And I don't know if it's the placebo effect of it being an expensive iron. You do get that. And I kind of get sucked into that as well. Like anything that's got a high price tag, we're talking like 200 pounds an iron. Automatically, no matter what it looks like, it could be the ugliest thing in the world. You're like, oh yeah, that's nice. And it kind of has that elegance to it. It's very simple. It's got a nice little smattering of gold there. It's got that kind of uniqueness that it doesn't have like a p wedge it goes five to ten with the numbering on the bottom of it it's a player's iron it's going to appeal to a lot of you guys it's going to look sleek from the top but give you the forgiveness it's very much like a p790 essentially but why do p790s which are pretty much a similar price like if you're looking at the brand new ones or let's say Titleist ap3 Callaway Apex, I mean we're not talking, if you're going to get fitted for a brand new set of these, we're not talking that much price difference. So why do these not sell at all? And when I say do not sell, we're not talking about Honda themselves, like an incredible huge market in America and mainly Asia. I'm talking more about the UK and obviously that's my only experience, but this is why, the reason that I want to make this video. If you're that unique player that wants something a bit out there, a bit show-offy, but don't necessarily want to break the bank, I think if you did a bit of research, a bit of time, a bit of effort, you can pick up a beautiful set of these irons that's going to not only improve your game, but look good in the process. So Simon, what did you buy these irons for? £400. And the gentleman that got in touch with me actually watches the channel, and I found it very difficult to give him a price because, as I know, that. Last year's model, I mean, if you want to go and buy these brand new, you can. We're talking at uh, £1,200. I think I looked on um, uh, online, American Golf, Clubhouse Golf, you name it, £1,200. We're talking £175 a stick, brand new. And I've sold them today, well, later on today, for £550. So we're talking 50% off, which is incredible. I mean, for the same set or price, we're talking AP2 718 irons, P790, P790 irons that are like three years old. And yes, these are still expensive irons compared to all the other stuff that I show you guys. Normally a set of irons that I'm showing you is like £100, £200, £300, especially for the majority of you that are just starting this game. But for the more experienced players that are wanting a bit of a change up, that want to potentially get that player's iron that looks good, so your AP2, your P790, your I500, whatever it might be, for the five, six hundred pound bracket, I'm saying these are a good alternative. A bit different. In a market that's so inflated, I actually think these are potentially priced quite nicely because they've just got zero attention. Now I need you to listen to this next part very carefully because the last time I did a Homer video on the TW747 driver, which was going for stupidly cheap at the time. I mean, looking back now, it was an absolute steal compared to the prices. Even that's gone back up to 220, 240, etc., etc. But listen, the demand for these clubs are low, but the supply is even lower. So once I post this video, yes. Some of these sets of irons are gonna go up in price. Yes, there's gonna be more bids. But what I'm saying is wait three months, four months, five months, 
potentially save up so you can actually buy a set of these irons and wait for that Facebook post. Wait for that eBay buy it now newly listed because I can guarantee you once the hype or the people that watch this video dies down just like it did with last year's video because I've been monitoring that driver and I've been telling the guys in the payment account Homma driver is actually a good buy still considering it even went up 50, 60, 70 pounds. It's a good brand. It's a nice brand. It's something a bit more unique. It's something a bit more out there. It shows actually that you're a bit more of a connoisseur when it comes to buying your golf clubs and you're not just going, oh, I'm just gonna spend five, 600 pounds or a thousand pounds on whatever the advert tells me to. The hype will die down. And because the demand keeps going down and people want to offload their nice iron because for whatever reason they think a Titleist or TaylorMade or Cobra is gonna help their slice, you're gonna get a beautiful set of clubs. They're just a bit different. So at this point, I should probably talk about the most boring bit of my videos and reviews. How does it feel, Simon? How far does it go? Is it better than all the others? If you were to ask the brand themselves, the technology, the craftsmanship, the MOI, the distance, etc., etc., it's far superior than every other golf club. And to be honest, I could make the majority of these videos in a basement, but that wouldn't look good on camera, would it? I need to come to a golf course, I need to come to the range, mainly because I've got a playing lesson, not a playing lesson, but I'm playing with one of my lessons at Army Golf Club tomorrow, so I need to shoot a reasonable score. And also, I like hitting shiny things, but that's what it is, a shiny thing. What I'm comparing it to is, what can you get for the same price range on the second-hand market? Can you pick up a four to 10 iron of these for under 500 pounds because if you can that's an exceptional deal what do i rather hit because it's going to feel as good as all the rest i mean i know the manufacturers are going to say otherwise that their brand's far superior far more technology far more metal things have gone into it but what would i rather have in the bag at the moment in an inflated market a set of my own 718 ap2s i'd swap in a heartbeat to have the same amount four to pitch image or four to ten iron of these rather than my AP2s. Would I rather have a set of P790s, I500s, the list goes on, or something that's a bit more unique? And let's be honest, when it comes to new golf clubs, it's just a show off thing. It's not gonna make your game any better. It's just a status thing, just like someone has a Ferrari in the car park, or someone has a Nissan GTR, someone has a Lexus LFA. They're all as quick as each other, they all cost different amounts, but they don't necessarily make the person that's driving them any better. Lastly, let's look on eBay. Let's see what's available. Let's see what's actually selling. And I know there's not much because obviously I did a bit of research for this video. Golf clubs for cash, 749, five to pitch in wedge plus gap wedge. So that's seven irons, 749. For me personally, 105 pounds a stick is too expensive. I'd be looking at 80 pounds a club. I, 70 pounds a club. Get these for five, six hundred pounds, you're laughing. 799, brand new 1195, there's just not that much out there. I mean, international sellers, I think I saw a set, for example, 148 in the US for these set of irons, graphite 5 to 11. I'd be very interested to see what that goes for. Um, uh, imagine after this video, potentially might go for a bit more than it was supposed to. Let's have a look at what's recently sold because a lot of you guys send me prices and stuff of stuff that's like available. Oh, is it worth this? go on the sold listings you get a much better idea especially bids bids is really important 799 from another seller for example this is kind of like this person here legendary graphite 5 to 11 560 dollars so someone out there and this was a month ago got an exceptional deal 4 to 11 530 pounds 706, 445. There's deals out there. I'm not saying you're gonna be able to find it in this particular country. I'm not saying you're gonna be able to find it tomorrow. I'm not saying that you're gonna be able to find it in three months. What I am saying to you is in a year's time when they brought out the other Honma clubs, slightly out there brands, any Japanese brand for that matter actually, and you go, oh, I remember that video Simon did a year or so ago, and he hasn't made a video on it just yet thank god so i can actually get a good deal on them maybe i might punt 400 pounds 500 pounds on a lovely gleaming forged set of japanese irons guys if you like this video leave it a like subscribe if you're new see you guys later